Welcome back and welcome to Vlogmas Day 16. <laughs> wow, we're over, well, we've only got 10 left until Christmas. I can't believe it. I've, uh, I thought I would run out of ideas, but I've still got plenty of videos in the pipelines for you. A couple that I'm sort of currently working on and I've got my Christmas Eve one all scheduled as well. So I hope you're ready for that one. Um, today I am going to be doing my top 10 adult books of 2017. As I mentioned in previous video, I had real trouble putting together my top 10 books of the year. So I decided that I would make a video for my top 10 adult books, my top 10 uh, YA and middle grade books, and my top 10 non-fiction books because I've read quite a lot of non-fiction this year. Um, so I've put together this list. I've got a combination of books that I have got to show you, um, books that I've read on my Kindle and books that I have had previously but have given away. And because these are my top 10 adult books, a lot of them I've made a video about anyway. Um, so I'll be able to link that. So it'll either be in the description or above. So have a look for the link for that one. And you can see further thoughts on each of these books. So I'm not going to talk about them an awful lot because for the majority of them I have made videos about them. So the first one on my list in no particular order is My Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella. I made a whole video talking about this one so you should go ahead and watch that one. The next one I do have a copy of here and that is The Summer of Impossible Things by Rowan Coleman. I didn't have a copy of this one when I made the video for it which I will link for you um, but this one I had in the UK and then Rowan sent me a signed book plate, um, if I can find it, I've still got the envelope that she sent it in, um, to put inside, so I've got a lovely signed book plate, I believe I showed you this anyway, and let me just show you again, the gorgeous, gorgeous end papers in this book, because they are just amazing. Um, and yes, I made a whole video about it, so it will be linked. The third book in my list, I did have a physical copy of it, but I gave it away to someone and said, you must read this book. Um, so they are still in the process of reading it, as far as I know. Um, and that is A Song for Tomorrow by Alice Peterson. I made a whole video on this one as well, because I thought it was so amazing. Uh, and the second, the fourth book, we're, going, we're not going backwards. The fourth book on my list also falls into this category of I had it, I made a video about it, I gave it to someone and said you must read this and that is How Not to Fall in Love Actually by Catherine Bonetto. I, both of these previous two I actually listened to on audiobook even though I had a physical copy of the book. I was sent a physical book from the publishers but I bought the audiobook because that's how I decided to enjoy listening to these books. And then the next book I read again made a video talking about it so it will be linked um, and that is All Fall Down by Jennifer Weiner. Um, I believe this also falls into that same category of I got a copy of it from the publishers. I got this copy a while ago um, and I then decided to go ahead and buy the audiobook and listen to it on audiobook because I had listened to Jennifer Weiner's non-fiction Hungry Hearts um, on audiobook and I enjoyed it so I decided to do that with this one. Uh, but yeah, got a whole video about my uh, newfound love of Jennifer Weiner. So I will link that for you. Another one I've made a whole video discussion on and that was Then She Was Gone by Lisa Jewell which um, is one of the ones that also made it onto my top 10 list of like all books this year. Um, it's amazing. I made a video about it. I've championed this book from the minute I read it. It's just come out in paperback. It came out on Thursday in paperback and it is one of the uh, Richard and Judy book club books. So they'll be on buy one get one half price in WH Smith's if you're in the UK. I believe this one comes out in April in the US but uh, you should just go ahead and um, order it now from the book depository or get it on Kindle because it's amazing um, and just read it now. Yes, and watch my video because I'll tell you to do that in the video as well. I didn't have the physical book then, but now I do. Um, and then the next one is Keep You Safe by Melissa Hill. This one is about um, two women who choose uh, whether to inoculate their children or not and the consequences that it has of choosing not to um, and I believe I talked a little bit about this in a kind of seven 
five however many mini reviews thing that I did but again I listened to this one on audiobook uh, another one that I listened to on audiobook that I don't have a physical copy of because I gave it away to someone because it was so lovely. So that book is Miss You by Kate Eberlen. Um, this one is great for fans of One Day. It takes two people and their um, lives. We get to follow their lives separately and for, we're sort of on edge all the time as to whether they're going to meet. Is anything going to happen between them? what's you know how how are they interconnected and it's amazing how many kind of things happen that kind of keep you on tenterhook so it was a really really good listen but as I say my physical copy I gave to somebody else because it was so fantastic um something that I do have a physical copy of and I did actually read the physical copy of the book uh, I don't think any of these other ones have I read the physical copy of the book that I'm showing you? I just have it. So I had a, a couple that I read on Kindle, a couple that I read on audiobook. This one, I read the physical copy of the book. Um, I haven't made a video about it, uh, but I have got a blog review of it, which I can link for you. And I've got a video talking about the other books in this series. And that is I Heart Forever by Lindsay Kelk, because I've not mentioned this one on my channel for a little while now. So we need to mention this one. This one also made it onto my top 10 books of the year because it was such an anticipated book. Um, so yes, I Heart Forever, Lindsay Kelk. Um, and then the final one on my list, I listened to on audiobook and I have never had a physical copy of it. So that makes it a bit different to most of the other ones. Um, and that is Gin Ginny Moon by Benjamin Ludwig. Um, and this one is about a girl who is on the autistic spectrum and we gradually get to know um, what her life is all about and kind of it very very slowly unfolds and it's all sort of told from Ginny's perspective and she's in foster care and but she's sort of desperate to still be with her birth mother and it's really really um interesting the perspective that it's told from and it makes for really really compelling listening um I was listening to um an audiobook borrow from the library and it it stopped and it returned whilst I was listening to it. Now that's my fault because you obviously get them for three weeks and I hadn't listened to it um, until the end of the three weeks. I'd gone, oh, this loan's going back, better listen to it. Thankfully, I was able to borrow it again from the library, but when it stopped and I was at a crucial moment, I was just like, no. Um, I'm sure you've heard lots of people talking about this one. It's been one of the major kind of like literary fiction uh, books of the year. So there you have my top 10 adult books. Coming up, you will have my top 10 young adult books and middle grade got a couple of middle grade ones in there and um as well my top 10 non-fiction I wanted to make sure that I did do a non-fiction so that um I could cover some of the amazing non-fiction books I have read this year because there have been so many amazing non-fiction books that I've read this year so thank you very much for watching make sure you are subscribed click the little subscribe button down here um so that tomorrow's video lands straight in your subscription feed um and if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up check out those other videos i've mentioned um please because all of the books that i've mentioned are amazing and you would definitely enjoy them um and yes as i say if i haven't got a video on it i will link to my blog review down below as well uh so i will see you in my video tomorrow bye